This week, updates to help you improve sales efficiency and performance. Hello everybody, I'm Justin Bose, Head of Sales for our agency vertical here at Vendasta. My team assists our associates to advance additional assets and achieve their audacious aspirations. Let's get started. Those of you who have been using Inbox's AI-assisted web chat will have noticed that the conversations the widget is having with the visitors to your website show up in Inbox in real time. This means that while a conversation is occurring, it might appear in Inbox with a vague website lead ID number rather than a person's name. This is most often because the visitor's contact info has not been collected, but to provide a clean view of conversations that are ready to be picked up where the AI-assisted web chat left off, we've removed the in-progress ones from the main view. To see them, just select anonymous web visitors from this dropdown, or just wait a few minutes. They'll show up in the main view as soon as the conversation is finished and the lead's contact info has been collected. You'll find this filtered view in Inbox, in In Partner Center, and in Inbox Pro in Business App. Running snapshot reports for those new leads is a great way to see where their opportunities for improvement are and how you can help them. You can see how many snapshot reports you have left on the My Plan page in Partner Center, and now you can see when that balance will refresh each month to help you decide which prospects to run reports and avoid running out of credits unexpectedly. When creating a company in Partner Center's new CRM, you can now use Google Play Search to find the business and autofill the company record instead of filling in each and every detail manually. Just press Create Company, start typing its name, select it from the dropdown, and watch the rest of the fields auto-populate. The company page layout makes it super easy to identify which company you're looking at, with address and clickable website URL right up top with the name. Contacts can be viewed in the panel on the right, complete with their job title and LinkedIn profile. You'll also notice inline editing is now available on both the company and contact profile pages, complete with autosave so you can edit on the fly. It goes without saying that it's valuable to know where and how your customers and prospects are engaging with you, so accurate attribution is key. To help with this, you can set the activity type to SMS, inbox, or LinkedIn from the More dropdown when logging activities to a company, in addition to types available under the text box. And a quick fix made by the team, you can now update the activity type of a note without having to retype the note. You can also add custom tags that you can filter on to easily see notes related to a certain topic, stage, or characteristic. Speaking of filtering the activity log, we've added the activity types as preset views so you can narrow the view to just calls, emails, tasks, et cetera, with a single click. If you've created some filters of your own, you can apply several of them to get the view that you want, and then save that view with a custom name so that you can quickly return to it as needed. And that's not the only kind of view that you can save. You can filter companies and contacts by any fields on those records. For example, you can filter companies by an industry tag and whether or not they have a website so that you can adjust your prospecting tactics accordingly. Now you can save those filtered views too, so you can come back to them whenever you need to. And companies or contacts you don't want in your CRM anymore, they can now be deleted in bulk. This can be done in Business App too. There are hundreds of products in the marketplace available for you to resell to your clients. In most cases, you'll want to add them to your store or incorporate them into a package. But occasionally, you might want to sell a product to a particular client as a one-off. Now, when you click Start Selling on a product, you'll be prompted to choose whether or not you want it to add it to your store instead of having it added automatically to all of your stores. You can even choose to add it to specific markets only, so you can easily sell any products in the marketplace with or without adding them to your store. Subscription billing is coming soon for all partners to automate billing and payment collections on all orders. For those of you who are already using it, you'll notice a little user icon beside the activated on date of retail subscriptions created by a user to distinguish manually created retail subscriptions from those that have been auto-created from product activations. All of those improvements will help your team sell more efficiently. Another way to increase sales is to improve your team's sales skills through coaching. And there's a new report available in Premium Reports to help you do just that. With the new report called Sales Activities by Salesperson, you can view activities as a time series to analyze trends at individual, team, and organizational levels. Beyond viewing counts, you can also really drill into the numbers to see data on specific activities and find opportunities for growth that you can coach your team on. There we have it, a great collection of updates as we near the end of 2023. Give them a try and let us know what you think. As always, you'll find a full recap of this week's releases in the changelog on roadmap.mendasta.com. Until next time.